Tom Fitton for Fox News. Uh, FBI new documents reveal FBI Clinton cover-up. In Washington, the ostensible story is rarely the real story. We know, for example, that former President Clinton engineered a meeting with President Obama's Attorney General Loretta Lynch on the tarmac of the Phoenix airport on June 27, uh, 2016. That's the official story, replete with the charming and intentionally disarming detail that all they talked about was their grandchildren. It was just coincidental, don't you know, that at the time the FBI was looking into Hillary Clinton's use of a personal email server to send, receive, and store classified information, and it was also simply coincidental that just a few days later, the director of the FBI who served under Attorney General Lynch announced that he wouldn't recommend a prosecution of Hillary Clinton. Richard Nixon must be rolling over in his grave. What, have, what we haven't known until now is that a frantic scramble erupted in the halls of the FBI to cover up this meeting. What we haven't known until now is that a frantic scramble erupted in the halls of the FBI to cover up this meeting. In fact, the FBI turned its sharp light not on the scandalous meeting between the Attorney General and Bill Clinton, but rather on one of the whistleblowers who got the word out. The organization I head, Judicial Watch, yes, Tom Fitton, terrific, asked the FBI on July 7, 2016 for any records that might pertain to the infamous tarmac meeting. We had to sue uh, after we were ignored by the agency. Then the FBI told us uh, flat out that it couldn't find any records. Yes, and they finally got the documents, but some uh, were redacted. Now, we know why the FBI played shell games. The documents show that the FBI officials were concerned solely about the leaking of details of the tarmac meeting. None of the documents show top agency officials cared one whit about the pro uh, priority of the meeting itself, but only about who blew the whistle on the co uh, covert tay dot tay. In one email, an FBI official writes, we need to find the guy. And in another, we learn that the Phoenix FBI office was contacted in an attempt to stem any further damage. An FBI official worked on Lynch's security detail, even goes so far as to suggest non-disclosure agreements to keep the full facts from coming forth. No wonder the FBI didn't turn these documents over until we caught it red-handed hiding and lying about them. Simply put, the FBI appears to be fully complicit in a cover-up that attempted to influence a presidential election for a favored, a favored candidate, Hillary Clinton. And the truth was trampled on a Phoenix tarmac. Absolutely. It's, let's take a quick listen here. Um, oh, let me just pre press that here. Okay. This meeting at the tarmac between Loretta Lynch and the former president, Bill Clinton. That paperwork now part of the public record after the DOJ had kept it private. Jordan Seculo, attorney for the American <laughs> Center for Law and Justice. So, sir, good morning to you. Take us back to morning, what, the summer of 2016. What do the papers yep. show you, do you believe, Jordan? Well, originally, Bill, the FBI had told us that they had no information. That the DOJ, when we took the DOJ to court, finally did give us documents about this tarmac meeting. The FBI said they had nothing. Then there were FBI uh, people in the emails that the DOJ gave us. So the FBI quickly came back before we even had to say anything and said, we'll reopen your FOIA request, expedite it, and get you the documents. Now the documents have come in, and what have we learned? The FBI was mainly focused when they knew about this tarmac meeting on keeping it quiet. They did not want people to know about the meeting, and they were trying to shut down and inform it. Someone who was talking to the press, who was part of a security detail company, and they wanted to get to that individual, get them to sign a non-disclosure agreement. You know what's interesting here, Bill? 
They didn't actually care or show any, any concern about the actual meeting itself. So when Jim Comey said, oh, that was what really drove me to take the action I did to, to not only announce that what the FBI's findings were, but also say no prosecution because of that meeting. I had to take Loretta Lynch okay. out of it. No right. FBI officials, Bill, had any concern about the meeting. They just didn't want people to know about it. Understood. And more to come on this. I think the quote was, we need to find that guy. Um, I, yeah. I don't know if it was a reporter or somebody working at the airport. And there you have it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.